The hanger is supported using the rectangular pin. Determine the magnitude of the allowable suspended load P. If the allowable bearing stress is 220 MPa, the allowable tensile stress is 150 MPa, and the allowable shear stress is 130 MPa. Take T equals 6 mm, A equals 5 mm, and P equals 25 mm. Okay, so here is the figure for it, and I also drew the pre-body diagram for it, which includes uh, the force and the shear force as well as the bearing force. Alright, so, so pay close attention to this one. If you cannot see it on what I drew here, you can refer to the figure because clear it's clearer and easier to see than looking at my figure. Okay, so you are given the bearing stress, the tensile stress, and the shear stress. Okay, so you're going to use this to determine the force, the maximum force P. For each case, you will get a different force, and the goal is to find which uh, which case will give you the maximum force P. Okay, so for the f uh, let's take uh, let's find the force P when you reach the allowable bearing, the allowable tensile stress first. So for allowable tensile stress, I have normal, uh, normal, and the tensile stress equal to the force divided by area, and in this case, the force is equal to P. And the area, what is the area? So let's take a closer look at this diagram, this figure here. So tensile stress tend to pull the object apart. So you have this length, so you have this area. Basically, the force is down here, okay? So you have, what, what is the area of this one? So you have the length is 75 mm, and the thickness or the width, the width is T, which is 6 mm. So the area is equal to 75 mm times 6 mm equals 150, which is the allowable tensile stress, so for P, you got 67,500 newtons, okay? Because because the allowable, uh, because tensile stress tend to pull the object apart. Look at my fingers. So at first, my finger is right here, right? So it tend to pull, so my finger is pulling apart the object, okay? And it's applied, it applies to this thin portion down here. You can refer it to the figure for better visualization. All right, now that is for tensile stress. Now for the allowable bearing stress. Bearing stress. So bearing stress is equal to the f bearing force divided by the area. Okay, what is the force in this case? So look at the figure here. So the bearing, bearing means So over here, so when when the force pull this down, this will for the bearing stress, it will pull this down and you will have a gap right here. Okay. So this gap it will pull this down. There's only uh, this gap, this portion right here, this rectangular shape right here, it will pull it down to the blade, so tear down to the blade, okay? And what is that area? This area is equal to A times B. A is 5, B is 25. So 5 times 25 mm squared equals to 20 megapascal. So for P, you got 55,000 newtons. That is for the, and for the force, you divide it by two, why? Because you have one on this side and the other one on the other side, refer to the uh, actual figure at the beginning of the video so that you can have a better visualization, okay? So you have one this side and the other one this side, which is what is hidden. All right, now for the allowable shear stress. Okay, so shear, again, shear force is parallel to the plane. So you, the force P pulling down to so the shear force will parallel to this plane, which is parallel to this plate. 
Okay, so C four formula for the C four is equal to C of C stress. Formula for C stress is equal to C four divided by area. Again, C four you have two C s because you have one on each side. So that's from, that's why you have to divide by two. And the area, what is the area here? The area is the the area of the object along the surface. So you have this portion along the surface. So it slips like this. Okay. So it slips like this. So what is that surface? That surface is equal. Uh, what is that area of that surface? That area is equal to along this surface. You have ten mm. Okay, and the width. Uh, I mean the length is B, which is twenty five. So you have ten times twenty five equals one thirty, which is the allowable C stress. So for P, you got sixty five thousand newtons. All right. So let's compare. You have sixty seven newtons, fifty five newtons, and sixty five newtons. So when the P reach fifty five thousand newtons, it reaches the uh, allowable bearing stress, and the system will break if you apply more forces. If you apply more force, okay. So if the force is greater than fifty-five, the system will break, and there's no way it can reach this four or this four. So your maximum force is your maximum P force is equal to fifty-five thousand newtons. Again, let me explain one more time. So normal stress tend to tear this apart, so pull this down. So it pull this down, this little thickness right here, okay. Refer to the actual figure for better understanding. For the bearing stress, so the bearing stress refer to this plate. This plate and is is also pulled down, but it will press. It will make a hole on this plate. Okay, so let's see if I can better visualize it. Uh, there's no way. Okay, let me just explain it. And for the shear force, the shear force is the sh the force that go. That goes along the surface of the plane, which is this plate, the vertical plate. So that is the uh, explanation for each of the cases. Okay, hope that makes sense. That's it. If you find the video is helpful, feel free to give it a like, share, and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything. I'll see you next time.